Welcome to Nebraska, albeit virtually, for the Doherty Water for Food Global Institute's Water for Food Global Forum. We are glad that you are joining us for this important conversation. Given that COVID continues to impact lives around the world, this year's Water for Food Global Forum will take place as a series of virtual events over the month of October, bringing together international experts, growers, and organizations to focus on achieving global water and food security. The forum will focus on integrating knowledge and practice. Thanks again for all you do to make the world more food and water secure. In short, for making the world a better place. Just a moment about Nebraska for those who haven't been here or, or who haven't been here in a while. It truly is an amazing place. Nestled in the middle of the United States, smack dab in the middle of the US, pinched roughly halfway between Canada and Mexico and the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. It truly is an amazing place with a unique and amazing history. From the prehistoric times when it was underwater as part of a large inland sea, connecting what we now know as the Gulf of Mexico and the Arctic to the indigenous peoples who once and still call this place home. To those that found their way to this place in the 1800s in search of a better life and who found out quickly how key water was and is to sustaining life and prosperity. Nebraska is a gritty place where authentic and innovative people like Frank Zeibach and Robert B. Doherty, the inventor of the center pivot and what we would call today the venture capitalists that licensed this new technology and brought it to the world. Nebraska is home to nearly 80,000 miles of surface water and sits on top of the High Plains or Ogallala Aquifer. That contains as much fresh water as Lake Huron and it is recharged by rainfall and surface waters because of the nearly 20,000 miles of grass stabilized sand dunes known as the Nebraska Sandhills. The largest grassland in the Western Hemisphere. There truly is no place like Nebraska. The University of Nebraska was founded 152 years ago with the goal of integrating knowledge with practice. From the beginning, UNL's College of Agriculture has played a key role in this journey. In 1973, the Institute of I Agriculture and Natural Resources, or IANR, was founded to ensure that agricultural research, teaching, and extension would remain prominent in the university's upward trajectory. During those 50 years, some of the challenges we strive to address have remained the same. These include issues such as growing enough food to feed a growing world, addressing crop and livestock disease, developing tools to make agricultural production more efficient and sustainable, and harmonizing agricultural production with the resilience of our natural resources, chief among these, water. Created in 2010, DWFI at the University of Nebraska has worked towards one goal, a food and water secure world, one in which global food security is ensured without compromising the use of water to meet other essential human and environmental needs. Themes that will be discussed during this year's Water for Food Global Forum include climate change and extreme events, water quality and nutrient management, food systems and nutrition, innovations and entrepreneurship, in agriculture and water management. Thanks again for joining us and for all you do to make the world a better place. I hope you enjoy this year's forum and that we all learn something new. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Peter McConnick, the Executive Director of the Dory Water for Food Global Institute. And it's my pr privilege and pleasure to officially convene the 2021 Water for Food Global Forum, integrating knowledge and practice. Like many others, we are doing things a bit differently this year due to the travel and convening constraints of the global pandemic. However, we are pleased to provide a virtual opportunity that is more inclusive to our partners around the, the globe, while allowing us to continue the vital work towards ensuring food and water security for all. At our more, most recent Water for Food Global Conference in 2019, we had no idea it would be so long before we could reconvene in person. 
We hope to do so very soon. However, a lot has changed in water and food in the last 18 months, and we're excited to come together in this virtual format to showcase the work we and our partners and others have been doing and continue this very important conversation of how to feed our world while protecting our precious natural resources. Each week this month is focused on a particular theme surrounding our mission of a water and food secure world. You will hear from researchers, NGOs, government agencies, producers and private industry experts on how their work is helping achieve this vital mission as well as what is needed moving forward. This week, our first week of the Water for Food Global Forum, will explore the interconnections between water and food systems and nutrition. Our on-demand sessions available to you include Integrating Nutrition in Irrigation Investments, which explores the interlinkages between climate change, water and nutrition. In our live session this Thursday, with the United States Food Systems Summit concluded less than two weeks ago, our moderated panel discussion will dive into the water-related impacts, innovations and outcomes. Water and agriculture leaders from different perspectives will explore the influence that water has on food systems and nutrition on both a global and local scale. I encourage you to view the week's agenda on the Attendee Hub event platform and join us in this important conversation. Week two's topic is innovation and entrepreneurship in agricultural water management. During our live sessions, we will showcase women innovators who are working to solve farming challenges, as well as considering the future of farmer-led irrigation in Sub-Saharan Africa. This week also includes three live side events, a workshop on how to get the most out of our field in interviews, an introduction to the Dashboard for Agriculture, Water Use and Nut Nutrient Management, or our DAWN project, a five-year, $10 million project funded by USDA and NIFA. And updates on research activities with the Irrigation Innovation Consortium, a public-private partnership across the Western US. In week three, we'll take a closer look at the local and global impacts of water quality and nutrition management. This includes discussions on economic and human health costs of nitrate pollution, investigating pollution for, from the ethanol plant here in Mead, Nebraska, how to accelerate innovations through collective action, and solutions related to wastewater and its reuse. With an eye on the upcoming climate conference in Glasgow, Scotland early next month, our forum will wrap up in, a week, in week four by discussing the influence of climate change and extreme events on water and food security. Experts will discuss the impacts, of, impacts that extreme weather related events on water, food systems and human health. We will also explore specific case studies on climate adaptation. I invite you to meet and engage with our attendees and speakers in the sessions through the Attendee Hub event platform and through our Slack workspace. You can find more information about this on the Stay Connected tab of our event website or, or in each web's email, each week's email. We hope this will serve as a vibrant, ongoing network of those working towards the same goals long after the end of the forum. Throughout this month, I challenge you to take advantage of this virtual platform by participating in our live sessions, watching our on-demand sessions, forming connections and asking questions. Consider how we can develop outcomes through this forum and use it as a springboard for future conversations and collaborations in order to extend each of our impacts. How can we feed 10 billion people within 30 years, including transforming our food systems while still maintaining our important natural resources and the ecosystems that depend on them? Thank you for joining us this month and we look forward to interacting with you all.